let's not overlook things we already heard. Like John said he had an awakening to God when he was very young. Like, this is not that far from us. And yet the way we're brought up, it seems far from us. And religion over the centuries has sort of, I think, gotten a bit intimidated, if not a bad name, a bit intimidating. And philosophy also challenging, not so au courant today, where young people are looking, as we know. And it's not new, I mean, the last 50, 100 years. But it's not so far from us. We may feel far from it and whatever you call it to be, but it's never far from us, I promise you. And that's the message of Dzogchen, the innate on great completeness. Yes, it's called the peak vehicle. It's called the summit approach. It's called a lot of you know, beautiful things, the clear light. I think of it as awakening itself or wakefulness. Awakening sounds like experience, but awakefulness is the way and the truth and the life in daily life. You know, we hear a lot about the word mindfulness, which is great and has arrived in our shores and has so many different definitions. But I think mine is the best, obviously. Otherwise, I would say some other ones. And mine is mindfulness is the opposite of mindlessness, which anybody can understand. And what are the downsides of mindlessness, like at the wheel or with power tools, or even while listening to one's mate, family, or boss, mindlessness does not further. Mindfulness does. 